Hi, welcome to Sumri P. Today I've got how to make a pie crust with spelt. I love spelt flour and I've just received my new delivery so I'm super excited to make wholemeal pie crust and it's easier than you think. So if you'd like to see how to make a pie crust with spelt, come with me and let's see. I forgot to mention how big the pie crust will be. It's either for a 23 centimeter or a nine inch pie dish or a tart tin. Let's get mixing. So step one, of how to make our spelt pastry today. We need flour. We need 250 grams of the flour. So that's roughly two cups. And then a pinch of salt. So I've got some chilled unsalted butter here. So that's 125 grams or half a packet. So what we're doing here is we're just using top of our fingertips. We want to do this quickly just to squish the butter down into the flour to create fine breadcrumbs. I have done other videos where I've done pastry on my stand mixer, which is fine, but recently I discovered that when you do it with your hands, uh, I can create a better pastry. So you'll see here, I've got a few large lumps left, which is fine, they'll break down when it's all cooked. So now we need to add just an egg yolk. And to that, I need, my hands are all dirty, a tablespoon of water. Now, depending on what flour you use, sometimes you need to add more water, um, but I always just add a little bit at a time. So just a tablespoon to start with. And you can add sugar to this um, pastry, but I find that if I do it plain, then I can have it as a flexible pie shell to either do sweet or savory. And if I'm doing a sweet pie anyway, there's sugar in the filling. So my dough is almost there, but because I've used wholemeal flour today, I just think it needs a tad or a touch more water. So I'm just going to put one more tablespoon in there. Yeah, that feels better. So I may need to grab this disc and place it in this plastic wrap and chill it for at least 15 minutes. Um, depending on the temperature of your house, I always find it works better around 30 to 60 minutes. But if you're in a hurry, um, grab it out at 15 minutes and start rolling. So we're going to chill this and then we'll start rolling. If you're curious why it's in the fridge, I always wonder why, why do people chill the dough? Why can't you just start rolling it? Like us, we relax when we're a bit chilled. <laughs> so it loosens and relaxes the gluten in the flour while it's sitting in the fridge. And then you get a dough that's easier to work with. Anyway, I'm going to go and clean up. But stick around because I'll roll out my tart shortly. So our dough's been relaxing and chilling out in the fridge for about half an hour. So I'm just grabbing it out and it's chilled but not super chilled. So it's perfect. So I'm going to, I'm going to, sounds so Australian sometimes. I'm going to dust my pastry mat with some flour. Add some to my hands. And then... I use a rolling pin like this, which is called a French tapered one, but you can use a straight edge one. And I've just popped the, just to keep it consistent, the same flour that I used in the pastry on my mat. So you need the, um, the dough and the rolling pin to become acquainted. So I just kind of bash it a little bit just to get it going. And you need to make sure you've got flour underneath your dough throughout the whole time. So you want it to be, yeah, at least, two to three centimetres bigger than your pie shell. Kind of starts warming up. And if you've made this at home for the first time, you see some large um, butter bits in there, don't worry, they'll cook out and it, it'll be fine. But what I would suggest, if you're baking for the first time a little tart tin, when you bake in your tray, pop, when you bake in your tin, pop a tray underneath it. Then if there's any spills or, it's just easier to get in and out of the oven. So I need a little bit more flour under there. And I'm aiming to get this rolled out to about three centimetres, sorry, three millimetres thick. And we're almost, I think we're almost big enough. Rolling pin. Roll your dough back onto the rolling pin. It's a little tip to get it into this tart tin. And just gently fold it so it flops in. So today for some reason, I've got a tiny little crack that started to appear. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water to my hands. Just do a little bit of repair work. 
So we make sure that's all nice against the edge. Wholemeal flour is slightly more crumbly than a regular flour. So you just roll it with your rolling pin and that creates a nice edge. So there you have it. There's my how to make a pie crust with spelt. So this will keep in the fridge for about three to four days or you can freeze it for about eight weeks. And depending on what recipe you're gonna do, you can either fill it straight away and bake it or you do what's called blind baking. But I'll pop some links up above if you wanna check out some of my other recipes um, for pies. And I also use the same dough for making galettes, which is a free form pie. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you're new here today, consider subscribing and share this with a friend and pop a comment below if you've given this a go and you like this recipe. I'll see you next time. Bye.